is Mary Louise Arin. I'm from Nigeria. My name is Kava Boyke. I'm an attorney. I'm from the Republic of Botswana. My name is Yurandia Akini. I'm from Kenya. My name is Francisco Fikranji Sechi. I'm from Ghana. My name is Jack Pora and I'm a South African. Um, I was a principal law research officer at the Nigerian Law Reform Commission Abuja before I came for this program. Before I came here, I was a mayor of a state in Ghana. Before I joined the TILA program, I was an attorney for a law firm. I was a litigator. I specialized in employment and labor relations. Before coming to this program, um, I was a pupil um, in a law firm. Um, I practiced uh, for a while and joined the Department of Trade Industry, uh, which is the, one of the government departments in South Africa. So I'm Daniel Bradlow. I'm the Saatchi Professor for International Development Law and African Economic Relations um, in the Center for Human Rights. It's a research chair, but one of the things we do in this unit is to run the LLM in International Trade and Investment Law in Africa. Um, it's been running, I think, now probably for about 17 or 18 years. It was created originally because there was, we felt there was a need to develop a, a cadre of African lawyers who were experts in international trade and investment law and who'd learned that law within an African context. So that it would, they would learn it understanding how the global system worked as well as the African regional system, but how the global system affected Africa as well as um, Africa's place in the world. Um, so far my experience has been amazing in terms of the quality of the coursework and the quality of lecturers. So you have different lecturers coming in from different parts of the world you know, Africa, Asia, um, America, and uh, and from famous universities um, from around the world, like the um, London School of Economics. So it, it just feels like you are sitting in Africa and you have the world coming to you. So that's that's something I like about the program. The, the program is, uh, has given us an opportunity to interact with the international experts more especially on international trade, development and investment. The modules are very detailed and wide, so it, it gives you a wider scope of the subjects and also of an experience of, of, of uh, an expert in the trade and investment law. So I think that uh, as much as challenging, it's very, very worth it for taking up this course. Currently, we have um, some of our students have actually been uh, doing very well. We have a student who is currently in Israel for a summer program. Another lady, I think, is going to France for an UNTAC sponsored uh, summer program. And some of them have actually shown interest in academia. Some are applying for doctoral programs here and, and as we as well. And so I think this program has actually prepared them, has given them a leverage to. Um, talk about trade issues that impacts Africa and Africans very well, rather than leaving it out to foreign partners or international partners to do it for us. So the African, the unique African Afrocentric nature of a program has actually really trained and, 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 and given this set of students um, enough um, confidence to actually talk about these issues when they go back home. Recently one of our alumni told me she was representing an organization in the negotiations of the African Continental Free Trade. And in the negotiations, she discovered that on some of the other delegations, there were some other graduates from our program as well, which obviously helps the negotiations as well as everyone because they know each other and they can sort of have a shared experience. And so we're beginning to see that we're having an impact on the way trade and investment is done. And hopefully that it means African countries are getting better deals um, when they negotiate um, with other international companies or international organizations. And so hopefully in that way we're contributing to development in Africa. I think anyone who would want to come to the university to study this program would be very lucky, very honored to be accepted. And it's an opportunity everyone should jump for if given the opportunity. I don't regret it one moment coming here. In 2017, we had 22 students, uh, so this year it was 26, um, and it was a very a highly competitive process. And at that, of course, we could see the, 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 the outcome in terms of the level of engagement 
uh, by the students um, during this academic year. So we will receive far much more than we can actually admit. It's such a very competitive process and um, the level, the, the, the strength of the application goes a long way in determining uh, whether you get on, on the program. Uh, so our students arrive uh, end of January, so the classes would resume beginning of February uh, till the end of July, so for six months they are in class every day, it's very intensive. And for the second uh, half of the year, the second semester, they focus on writing their mini dissertation and um, they will graduate at the end of the year in December, uh, usually around the right day. Um, the one part of our program that is completely unique, I don't know of any other part that's like this, is because we are done in the Centre for Human Rights, we can um, interact with the Human Rights uh, LLM as well. And we incorporate into the program um, a business and human rights component. So that, uh, because we think our students, as business students, need to understand human rights issues and how development involves both business and human rights and that the human rights students get exposure to the business students and learn that a good human rights lawyer knows uh, has to know about business and how business transactions work as well um, we so in the last couple of years we've begun this um, interaction it's a bit too soon to know how that's affecting people in their practices but hopefully one day we'll discover that uh, African lawyers are leading the world in, in business and human rights. Before I, I came, I was not much into doing research, but I just got the interest of content as a researcher because you are open up to knowing more on the field and on the, on the various modules on the course. And you will not, you will not want to stop because you want to know more and be an expert in the area that you've taken up. So I would advise anyone who has interest to take it because it's, it has a lot of prospects and not many people have had opportunity to have this and we need to have more people because we want the generality of the development of Africa, especially at this time that Africa has come together to uh, have an agreement on the African Continental Free Trade Area, which is going to open up the continent to trade. We need more people and the young people to have the expertise because we don't have to follow on other people from the African continent. We need African people with experience to handle the various uh, position portfolios and assignments that will come with it. Um, the piece of advice I will give to anyone who wants to apply for the program is just have confidence and apply. Because when I was applying for it the first time, I wondered, will I be accepted? It's the University of Pretoria. I mean, it's like one of the best universities in Africa, right? But I decided to take a chance and here I am. You have to have the passion. You have to have, you have to put in extra time because it's not just a matter of attending classes and being there and being present. You have to put in extra effort in it. And even if you put in that extra effort and you're not passionate about it, it won't go well. So if, you, if one wants to apply, apply knowing that you have the passion, you have the, the driving force in you that will ensure that it pushes you to the end. 